Welcome to our second video in our SOLIDWORKS CAM technology database series. We have already taken a look at creating new tools as well as custom tools inside the technology database. This video is going to cover creating tool cribs or modifying tool cribs. We'll start out with taking a look at tool crib 2, which is the default that SOLIDWORKS CAM gives us. There's a lot of different tools in here. You may or may not like this list, but I do want to point out if you're going to modify or change this tool crib, you could only delete one tool at a time. I could not delete five or six at a time or anything like that. Most of the time, I like to start with tool crib one, which is empty and just add the tools I want. So let's take a look at creating a new tool crib from this empty one. We're going to start by activating tool crib one. And then I'm going to go ahead and immediately make a copy. Once I make a copy, I can then hit edit. This will bring up the ability to change the name. So if I want to modify or uh, change this, I can maybe make this tool uh, crib. Let's go with four. I can also specify how many tool stations are available in this tool crib. So if I had 24, I would go ahead and type in 24 and then I'm going to hit this check mark over here. Now I'm inside tool crib four and I could go ahead and add any of the tools that I would like to add. So let's start by adding a flat end mill here. I would scroll and locate the end mill I would like to add. Let's grab this eighth inch four flute end mill. And then I simply hit select. Once I've hit select, I now am back inside tool crib four. I also have the ability to modify this tool selection over on the right hand side. So I can immediately say, okay, I'd like this to be station one. I can also pick the holder that I would like to be associated with this one eighth end mill that I selected. I have an entire list of holders inside of here. You can see that I, if I select this first one, it's a one eighth diameter tool holder. I can use that one in this case, go ahead and hit select, and then I have to hit save. Once I hit save, you'll see that this information will update over on the left hand side. So now in tool crib four, my very first tool location is going to be this eighth inch end mill. If I want to add any other items, I simply go through this process again. In this case, let's find a quarter inch end mill. Again, I'm going to hit this select holder option down at the right. Once I make this selection, I can find the quarter inch holder then hit select and make sure that I make this station two. I can type in O2 or two in the first instance. I just used a one and then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then you can see my station numbers are updating over on the left hand side. So I can go through, add as many different things as I want. We can even add the custom tools that we created before. In this case, I made a three flute end mill in our first video. I'll go ahead and hit select on this. This happens to be a half inch end mill. So I want to associate a half inch tool holder with it. Hit select and then make sure that my station number is three and then hit save. So I'm just going through the process. Um, and I could basically add anything I see from the list. We also had that user defined tool that we saw in the first video. That's very easy to add as well. And then maybe I just want to use a regular collet or something like that. I go ahead and hit select and I can even add this as, you know, station number 10, maybe. And then let's add one more tool and we'll make that station number four. So let's go with a ball nose here. And uh, let's go with an eighth inch. Select. And then we'll make this station four. And hit save. And then you could see they might appear a little bit of out of order here. But I can simply hit station number and I can reorder them so that it, you know, kind of flows a little bit depending on the order that I want to have my tools in. If I want to move around different items inside of here, maybe I want tool type to be over here. I can simply move that. So that means that I can also 
drag my key parameters or description over just like I can in normal Excel. So that's a real quick look in this video at creating a new tool crib inside of the SolidWorks CAM technology database.